In this video, we'll show you how to best make use of the physical size functionality in Substance 3D Sampler. Physical size means you can use your substance materials and be sure they're the same size as their real life counterparts. Because physical size has a strong relation to real life materials, it's best used in a material scanning workflow. We'll focus on that in this video. You can download the exact data we've used in this video or create your own. Our data was captured with a Vizu scanner and the XTEX software, but you can use standard image to material and multi angle capturing techniques as well. The workflow for setting physical size is the same. If you capture your own data, it's important to include some kind of scale reference on your photos or scans. We've used the 5 cm ruler on a color calibration card, but a small ruler works too. It doesn't matter if it's metric or imperial units. Now, let's get started. Let's bring in our image dataset first. Select the images, drag and drop them to the sampler layer stack. The import template we're using is Texture Import. Before clicking Import, we need to check the Set Physical Size checkbox. This enables the physical size workflow for our new material and lets us set up some base values in advance. There are two correct approaches to setting the size in advance. We can click on the Manual Measure button to measure a single distance, or we can click on the Auto Measure to calculate the size from the image file DPI metadata. Manual measure works on every image that includes a visual scale. As long as your photos are dead on, it's a fairly accurate way to work. Just drag between two points, type in the distance and hit enter. If you're using an imperial scale, just type the unit behind the number and it will automatically be converted to centimeters. The automatic measure is faster, but it only works on images from an actual scanner, not with photos taken at different distances and with different lenses. It uses the DPI info stored in the file to calculate a precise starting size. If you're using our scanned image data, use the automatic method. With your own data, pick what's most suited. Let's ignore the depth for now and click import. Now we can start processing this scan using familiar sampler workflows. Add a crop filter from the top menu. Adjust the crop window to the material sample, then hit enter. If you look in the bottom right corner, you see that our physical size has already updated, taking the crop into account. However, the ratio is not square, yet you're seeing a square preview. That's because sampler materials are always stored as square, but you can change the internal display to use the correct ratio. To do so, click the small drop-down arrow below the size units and choose Display with Physical Ratio. The 2D and 3D views will change to show the correct ratio. If you want to check your real-world sample against the digital one, that same display menu has the Fit to Physical Size option. This sets the display size, based on your screen DPI ratio, to exactly match the material scale. That means you can hold the real material sample next to your screen to verify the dimensions. If you need to work on the physical size at any point, use the new physical size window. Click the ruler icon in the top right to open it. There are a few sections. The input image size is the same settings that you changed in the import dialog. The 3D mesh surface section that controls how it's shown in the 3D view. And then there's the output material settings for the final size of your material. In the input section, there's one tool we didn't see before, measure diagnostics. This lets you measure between any two points of your material without affecting the size. Use it for verification and checking. In the 3D mesh section, texture scale changes the tiling on the 3D mesh. Switch it to physical scale mode to set the approximate mesh scale and have the tiling adjust automatically. Last, in the output section, you can set the displacement or height depth. Because this is difficult to measure, you can adjust the displacement height scale in the 3D viewport and then set the depth from that. Changing the tiling automatically adjusts the height scale from then on to always keep the displacement ratio correct. Now you know everything about setting up physical size in Sampler. Let's finish this material up. I'll add an equalize filter to get rid of the slight gradient. A value of about 9 works well for this fabric. Next, we add a tiling filter to fix the problems on the edges. Press the T hotkey to see the repetition in the 2D view. 
With a repeating pattern like this, it takes precise effort to align it correctly. We're taking special care to line up the green, white, and yellow diagonal lines. And don't worry, the tiling filter also correctly adjusts your physical size. It looks like our sample was slightly warped, causing a little bit of misalignment. If we add a Warp Transform filter, we get a 3x3 grid that lets us fix this. Make sure to drag it underneath the tiling filter. The warping is very subtle, so only moving one or two of the points slightly is enough to align things properly. Finally, to get the tiling to look perfect, we'll open the Edge section and increase the Blur parameter to get a smoother transition. Now that our material tiles and looks good, we can export it to other applications. Click the Share button on the right, then Export As. We'll set up the name and export location. Then we make sure to pick SPSAR as the format. During export to SPSAR, Sampler puts the physical size into the file as metadata. That means other applications can then read and use these numbers too. We'll use Clo as an example for that. We've got a simple project of a cap and would like to apply our scanned sample material with the correct size. We'll take our exported SPSAR file and drag and drop it into Clo's 3D viewport. As soon as the material is loaded, Clo reads the physical size data and uses the correct size. If we go into the material's properties, we can see the correct width and height is already entered. With the physical size workflow, it's now much easier and faster to correctly process your samples to substance materials. Thanks for watching.